Do you want to start throwing knives, but you are almost on zero budget? Don't worry, because today I will show you some of my favorite throwing tools that you might already have at home. So, let's get started. Most of you know that now I live in the big house and have a lot of professional knives. But from my beginnings, it wasn't definitely like that. I was living in a small apartment and I don't even had the targets. So, if you can see this, you can find a lot of targets like this in the forest. That stamp, and if you are lucky, you can even find the cut log rounds like that. So if you can set it up, you have perfect target. And what I actually starting with was the construction nails. You can get so many of them in the Home Depot for just few dollars. And you can easily sharp the tip put the duct tape on it and you can have really nice version like this one. But of course you can throw these no problem, you don't even have to sharpen them. And they need to have about 20, 20 centimeters and weight is about 150 grams or something like that. The more heavier will be the better they will stick into the target, alright? So this is my tip number one, definitely go for the construction nails. They are working for any technique, especially for the nose spin throwing. One of my favorite things for throwing are definitely butter knives. You can get so many of them very very cheap in the dollar store and usually they don't break at all. They will bend, but you can easily fix that. And for the techniques, I would say, like before, best is the conventional style, but also you can throw them with a half spin. And they can be even modified. I see some versions, they can like uh, cut it like here, and you can make them more pointier. So, butter knives, highly recommended. And guys, if you appreciate these tips, consider subscribe, smash the like button and click on the bell icon and turn the notifications on, so you're not gonna miss the future videos. But now, let's move to another tool. These you already have at home, right? These scissors. I would say you need really high quality. If you're gonna be throwing like a cheap scissors made from bad material, they're going to break. But these are like a very old, uh, steel ones and if you remove these screws you can actually have like a two separate throwing knives so this is really cool but you can even uh, throw it like this no problem so definitely scissors are no problem to throw and also so much fun I recommend them with the conventional house pin technique Small drill bits. These little things are made specially for drilling into the wood. So for the throwing, I would say really no problem. They are only limited that no spin would be kind of very difficult. But house spin, absolutely no problem. Hey, they're going to be sinking deep. Rasper. These are also no problem to throw at all. And if you're gonna remove this part, here it's like a little spike. So with that you can stick it really well. But of course, you can even do it with this front part, where it's not even spike. If you're gonna throw it right, with the proper technique, good distance, you can stick it no problem. Bamboo chopsticks. These are totally awesome if you want to learn no spin throwing, but disadvantage is that you have to throw into the soft target, for example, like a cardboard, because into the wood, they won't stick. But it's a little hack. If you're gonna sharpen them like this, make a really nice point, now they can stick with the proper technique even into the wood.
You can even throw this part from the bicycle. But disadvantage of these, they are very, very light. You can have so many of them for the cheap price, but I would recommend to use softer target rather than wood because they can rebound and you're not gonna find them in the forest at all. So like I said, for this, maybe the cardboard would be way better or the polystyrene. Do you like geology? If yes, you might already have this tool for the smashing stone at home. I think it's really not that cheap, but like I said, if you are doing this already for the hobby, you are maybe like uh, for the working, stuff like that, you might be already have it. And for the house pin throwing, this is uh, totally awesome. But I recommend it to have more targets because they're gonna destroy them so quick. I don't recommend this actually so much because it's very heavy, more expensive, but you can throw it no problem. Is shuriken illegal in your country? Don't worry, because these saw blades you can get basically anywhere and they stick into the target so well. So these blades facing like this towards the target and use the pinch grip. Otherwise everything is so easy like with the shuriken. If you can and you have tools and right place for it, you can make your own throwing knife. You don't need like a, some extra special materials. It could be like a, some simple piece of steel. You can cut it out, put something on the handle, just wrap it, use some kind of glue. And you can see this knife, it's not perfect at all. I got it as a gift, but it's going to definitely work for any technique. So if you are on the budget, definitely consider to make your own throwing knife. And my number one tool for throwing are definitely the screwdrivers. They are for throwing so awesome, especially for the nose spin and the house spin technique. You can get them anywhere and for so cheap. And compared to the cheap throwing knives, they are also really heavy. They have good uh, balance point. So for example, for the nose spin, absolutely amazing. And like I said before, house spin works really good too. So if you are the beginner on the budget and you don't want to spend like a crazy money on throwing knives, definitely recommend the screwdrivers. So what do you think about it guys? Let me know in the comment section below which of these tools is your favorite. And if you want to get your skills on another level, consider to upgrade for the professional knives like we have on the Wolfhund or the HZ. But for today, that's it. So thank you everybody for the watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe and see you next time.